Hi, how's everyone doing? Um, I'm making this video because I'm getting so many comments and questions about this buck converter down here. Um, this converter is made to run a positive and negative setup like this. One positive and one negative plate. You can make as many plates as you want. It could be coils, it could be springs, but it doesn't operate this, the cells with the neutral plates. It's just for this kind of cell design. So, what I was going to show you the buck converter is running this right now and it's not really um, pulling that many amps I think it's over here on this side at um, 1350 say and um, what I did is I'm trying to get away from using all kinds of chemicals um, to get this up to where it is now I only had to use a quarter tablespoon to get that cell to work usually I need about six to eight of these teaspoons okay so a quarter tablespoon got this up pretty far and what I'll show you now hold on a second I have to switch some things around I'm gonna put it on the power supply Okay, remember this is one quarter teaspoon. I pulled the plates out of the water because this is just a power supply right now running this uh, stack, little stack of cells here. And as I put it in the water, dead short. So the only thing that can run this is the buck converter. And you can use a lot less chemical. It'll be more efficient on the alternator because it's only pulling about 12 amps on the input side, but it allows the cell to be up to about 30 amp draw so I just wanted to show people that it doesn't work that kind of cell you have to make something else and I'm doing the coils right now um, I'll show you later uh, this is the contraption I made it is going to coil up 8 inch coil of stainless there'll be two coils one positive one negative you'll turn this crank here which turns the center rod and this will keep the pressure down on the coil and it will come up as the coil gets bigger I'm going to cut a slot down the center of that rod and insert the stainless that will be bent at one end maybe uh, at a 90 degree angle and then when I put this back together um, I'm pretty sure I can crank up some really big coils I don't think too many people can do 8 inch tall coils and they're going to go into a tube so that's all I wanted to show you today so I'll get back to it and we'll talk later have a great day